To write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2S plus MnCl2, this is sodium sulfide and manganese 2 chloride, we'll use these rules here. And the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So here's our molecular equation. We have two chlorines here and just one. Let's put a two here. That balances the sodiums. We have one sulfur, one sulfur, one manganese, one manganese. So it's balanced. Our molecular equation is done. Now we can write the state for each substance. Sodium compounds are very soluble, so that's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Chloride ions, also very soluble, so AQ. Sodium chloride, of course, that'll be soluble. And then MNS, this turns out to be insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid. It won't dissolve. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have the states in our reaction. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. Sodium, that's in group one on the periodic table, has a one plus charge. Then S, that's the sulfide ion, two minus. So I have Na plus, and the subscript here tells me I have two, my coefficient of two here, plus I have a sulfide ion, S2 minus. I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that right now. Then I have the manganese, we don't know. That's a transition metal. But we do know that chlorine, that forms the chloride ion, which is 1 minus. Since I have two of them, 2 minus, this has to be 2 plus. So we have the manganese 2 ion plus the chloride ion. And again, we have two of those. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, we have the plus and the minus. So we have, again, two sodium ions. And the two goes to all the atoms here, so two chloride ions. And we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we just have MNS. This is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't really changed, so we're not interested in them. In the reactants, I see two sodium ions. And in the products, again, I see two sodium ions. Get rid of those two chloride ions, and again in the products, two chloride ions, get rid of those. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for Na2S plus MnCl2. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium sulfide plus manganese 2 chloride. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion written first. It doesn't really matter. It's the same equation. If you notice, the charge is balanced. We have two plus and two minus. So this is neutral over here. This is neutral. And we have one, wow, Mg. And I notice that I have Mg here when it should be Mn. Let's get rid of that, make that an N. You can see I have one manganese here, one here, one sulfur here, and one sulfur here. So this is our balanced net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.